man. Speaking of that, it is time. Arash is serving it up oh. just like a pizza at Pomegranate. Just a pizza to Harry Styles on the day that I was closed. <laughs> it's called Sausage or Tossed Ryan. Are you ready? Always. Are you sure? No. Are you ready? Ooh, two words, baby. Sauce toss. Sauce toss. <laughs> Sauce it or toss it. Ryan, number one, depending on Jack's health, it will be a huge sweep at the NHL Awards. The uh, Jack Hughes for the heart, Quinn for the Norris, Luke for the Calder. Uh, that's a big sauce. I was really looking forward to that. Uh, much like the Kachuk brothers, yeah. I really love the Hughes brothers. Yeah, Personable, funny, entertaining, good players. They don't, <laughs> they don't seem like pieces of shit. Oh, no. Guys, if you didn't, if you're not watching on video, I unfortunately, uh, with my hand, bumped the shelf there. So, uh, is that at a point? Or? No, we're keeping that in. Oh, sick! We're keeping so, it in. Oh God, Ryan is so upset. I'm really worried about um, Jack Hughes because yeah. Hughes, you know, the Sharks are really pulling it together, and they were kind of uh, some favorites. And I wanted to see those three boys sweep it, mm-hmm. and I wanted to see them all win awards. So. If he can, I hope, I'm hope, I'm pulling for them, uh, for Jack to get better. And I want to see those three uh, sweep it. Nice. All right, Ryan. This is, I actually really like this question. Uh, Ryan, the top team in the AHL. I don't know who it is. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm sure they're really Probably good. called the Admirables. Probably. Probably. Sorry, Admirals. <laughs> Ad- 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 Admirables. The Admirables. Uh, the top team in the AHL would be able to beat the San Jose Sharks in a seven-game series. I don't think they would need seven games. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And that's a big sauce. And it's like, like, sorry, the the Wranglers. Oh, the, yeah. Like I, I'm trying to think about San Jose, like <laughs> trying to beat Dustin Wolf in a seven game series. It would a hundred. They would a hundred percent beat them. Um, and it's not because, and it's mainly because of how the Sharks are, because they are not a team. They don't really give a shit. Yeah, they're going through the motions. So. Uh, most teams that are a cohesive unit could beat that team. Big gotcha. sauce. Perfect. That's two uh, sauces. That's two sauces. Uh, we'll see about this one. Ryan, uh, because I'm taking more of a more of an active interest uh, in your lovey-dovey stuff. Um, <laughs> the MLB, I believe, free agency open today? Uh, it's the sixth, right? I think sometime so this week. It did. I think it did. So with that... Ryan, Shohei will be a Seattle Mariner by the end of the week. Is that Sauce. how am, does that work? Is that how it works? Like I know in the NHL with free agency, uh, it's usually like twelve oh one people start signing. But in no, it, it'll be a little bit longer for him. He'll be a production. Think back to uh, Brad Richards when okay. he was the UFA, right? And they kind of everyone dr- came and pitched and kinda... drawn it out a bit. Yeah, the studs like this is a generational. So I saw that the Seattle Mariners did not re-sign T. Oscar Hernandez. Yeah, the yep, whatever that's his name, right? Yep. So that's like twenty million dollars. That's like a lot of money. So it, was that because they're making room? He had a really off year with okay. Seattle. He's normally a lot better at you know getting on base and hitting, and he just kind of it wasn't a, it wasn't a good fit. Gotcha. And I'm fine with it, but in my mind, I'm manifesting Shohei. Love it, Ryan. There is no clear fix to whatever is uh, ailing the Oilers. Um, what's the like? What's the clear fix? I'd trade one of them. UC Soros, just get UC. No, I'd trade one of the big dogs. Hot news. I would just move one of them. It doesn't work. I'm really curious if you were to go out in such a cash-strapped league right now, if you were to be like, yo, like we're moving Leon. Yeah, you move and Leon. Just th- and be like, in order to move Leon, you got to take not only Leon and his, what, eight-some-odd million, you got to take Jack Campbell. And then you also got to give us a crap load of stuff. Yeah, and you, you go to a – you trade Leon Dreisaitl to a team that has, I don't know, a Carolina or something, where it's like, we need four pieces – yeah, 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 yeah. We need four guys that can play in place we need of some Leo. Studs, man. We need to get the studs out of the barn. So yeah. there is you. Are, I'm saucing that there is no clear fix because there's nothing you can do. Like it's just you've yeah. That is a tainted earth. Gotcha, uh, Ryan. And I'm and I'm using this sauce and toss because I've, I've just it's a lot of 
your Slavkovsky uh, yep. slander out there. Um, fans need to be, be be more patient with budding star power forward prospects in the NHL, such as Quinton Byfield and Yari Slavkovsky. Big sauce. Um, a lot of people want instant gratification, and they just don't want to let them cook. Uh, that is a, a perfect representation of our society as a whole, but also basically the modern-day NHL since um, Sidney Crosby came in. Right. And it's been – we're coming up to two decades of if this guy isn't put into the lineup immediately and – changing the game what's the point right like you know you had that with steven stamkos you had that with john tavares you i mean well taylor hall didn't do much but like everybody needs you know everybody there's an expectation if you're drafted in round one Mm -hmm. you're coming into the league tomorrow and changing the direction of your your team your first liner right off the bat and if you're not scoring 40 you're a bust by yeah. the halfway through your draft plus one year. Don't qualify. Don't qualify. Take him to arbitration. Wave his ass. <laughs> but he's not eligible for waivers. Do send it him. anyway. Send a message. Send a message. Send him back to Peterborough. Um, <coughs> Ryan, the Toronto Maple Leafs, even though they had a great comeback. Just uh, won an just overtime like, 5-4 over uh, uh, The Toronto Bolts. Maple Leafs, a lot of guys, not a lot of dudes. Uh, big sauce. Um all of the UFAs that were curious going into the year yeah. are insanely curious right now. Klingberg, Domi, Kling, er, er, Reeves, Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi. Reeves. Oh my God, Re- Ryan Reeves. Like, <laughs> and <laughs> I kind of feel like I feel like there is the OG Leafs. Yeah, and then there's the new kids, and they're not they're not commingling in the lunchroom together. Gotcha, Ryan. And the last one. Um, I'm just gonna say, it. pucks on that Christmas party 2024, Ryan. It is, you've you've told me it takes a while to organize. We're in November. I've never the only one I've been a part of was the one where we actually all met. Yeah, and it was also my birthday. So, are we doing it? Are we gonna do Next it? Next year? No, this year. You said 2024. Sorry, 2023. No, there won't be one this year. Really? We're two months out i mean we could do we could organize a social function but to throw an elaborate party i mean well okay where well, we're gonna have buble playing the piano like what yeah. are we asking for that's what i we mean like let's past. go to a but we're in november let's get some bar be like hey you had you hosted david quadrelli and he's not even 20 21 yet he can't even be in here 14 drinking. years old he's 14 years old he is more uh, 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 he's doing great i'll try to do something special for the christmas season i'm just trying to think like we need to have like a christmas special i mean we can do a christmas special i this just want to see our fans i don't know if we do fans. we have any fans <laughs> I mean, we have listeners and friends of do the we, show. Do we have any friends of the show that like exist in real life? That would yeah, control? we're going to be hand delivering them shirts this week and next. We're going to be. Do I look like I drive an electric car? You know, but you'll be riding shotgun. Uh, Drinking a little beer. I don't want to be Ryan's elf again. <laughs> I'm always the elf. <laughs> anyway, you have elfish looks. That's an office <laughs> reference. Uh, let's. There's a lot of chaos going on in the NHL right now. I absolutely love it. No one in the history of my life has ever looked at me and was like, "Rash, you have elfish, elfish features." You do. You What's got a bit of one a elfish feature? Higher though? pitch voice. How are we gonna get all these toys done, Santa Claus? No comment. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want me to do a Ryan Chap impersonation? No, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Hello, my name's Ryan Chap. I'm well educated and I love you all and I'm well spoken. Like and, Santa Claus. And uh yes, I'm Ryan Chap. I'm I'm a perfectly formed adult and <laughs> Well that's a that's a lie. Uh, look at me. Taking the higher road. <laughs> on tape. Alive on tape, Rash Mamars today. Taking the high road. I could have cut him down, but I didn't know that. Know that I had the power to. Why? Because people made fun of me when I was younger, which gave me the ultimate power to be able to cut people down when I'm when I'm an adult. But did I? No. Why? Because I love this man. 